Start on the ground with rocking. I'm going to start with, uh, like I said uh, before, with um, some mobility. So we're going to do it uh, kind of like an extended warm-up today for about 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll finish up with, uh, with a circuit, okay, with uh, kind of more traditional movements and intensity. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the ground, nice and tall through your chest, head up, eyes up, breathing through your nose. Sitting your hips back to your heels. Good. Tongue pressed up against the roof of your mouth. Breathing deep into your belly. Just allowing the diaphragm to expand with each inhale. All right, on the next rock forward, we're going to hold a front plank, shoulders over the hands, tucking in the ribs, rounding the shoulder blades. <clears throat> Good, we're going to hold for another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's rest the knees on the ground, lower down onto the forearms, and we're going to rock forward and back here on our forearms and elbows. Getting some uh, deeper mobility, deeper stretching in the shoulders. <clears throat> Upper back. Good. All right. Let's sit. Let's rest the hips on the heels. Rest the hips on the heels. Let's bring our right hand behind our head for thoracic rotation, touching the right elbow to the left knee. Then rotating that right elbow up to the ceiling five times, eyes following the elbow. Good. And after five, we'll switch sides. Hey, Jahar. Hey, Michelle. Left hand behind the head. Grab a mat. Grab a space. Left hand. Or right, yeah, left hand behind the head, touching the left elbow to the right knee. Rotating the left elbow up to the ceiling five times. Good. And when you finish with that, let's place both hands in the front, still sitting on our heels, head and shoulders are up. Okay. So from here, we're going to look back over the right shoulder behind you, and then we're going to look over the left shoulder behind you. And we're going to do this lateral rocking side to side for a while. Again, breathing through your nose, eyes are leading, head and shoulders follow. With each, with each rock, we're going to go a little bit wider. You can also release the opposite hand as you go wide. Breathing through your nose. Good. We'll do about 20 more seconds of this. It's nice and easy. Breathing through it, going at your own pace. Five more seconds. Good. All right. Let's come up back to all four. Shoulders over the hands, knees under the hips. We're going to go slow bird dog. So. Right arm, left leg, we're going to start with looking forward, okay? After you look forward, then we're going to reach forward with the right arm back with the left leg. Then I'd like you to look down at the ground and then touch the right elbow to the left knee and look at that. Then repeat, looking forward, reach forward, looking down under your body, looking at the elbow, touch the knee, and then repeat. Breathing. So again, eyes leading, and then the head following along with the arm and the leg. Good. Let's do four more of these. And let's switch sides. 
Good. Again, looking forward. This time, left arm reaching forward, right leg reaching back, looking down under your body, then watching the elbow touch the knee, and then repeat. Good. Let's go four more. One more. And rest. Great. All right. One more rocking variation. Let's bring the right leg out to the side. Right leg out to the side. And we're going to rock forward and back. Forward and back. Good. All right. Left leg out to the side. Still breathing through your nose. Good. And rest. Wonderful. Okay, let's spider lunge. Let's step forward with the right foot. Spider lunge the right foot, keeping the back knee on the ground. We're going to stay nice and tall through the chest, eyes looking ahead. Good. Now with the right hand, let's reach under, touch the uh, left hip. Let's reach, touch the opposite hip, and then we're going to rotate that right arm up to the ceiling. Let's go five rotations. Again, breathing through it, eyes following the hand. All right, let's switch the front leg. Spider lunge left now. Spider lunge left. Again, the back knee is on the ground. All right, let's breathe here. A couple breaths, look, eyes looking ahead. Good tall chest, shoulders down. On the next exhale, let's reach that left hand underneath, touch the opposite right hip, and then rotate that left arm up to the ceiling. Let's go five slow rotations. Again, eyes following the hand. Breathing deep. Blowing it out. Good. All right. Placing that hand on the ground, let's spider lunge the right foot forward once again. Good. With the right foot forward, we're going to rotate the torso into the right. So that's towards the front leg, eyes looking behind you, releasing that right hand, placing that right hand on the knee. So you're rotating the belly button to the right. With each exhale, think about sinking that left hip a little bit closer to the ground, a little bit deeper, lengthening. Good, and we're going to switch sides here, or rather not switch sides, not switch sides, but we're going to switch rotation. So with the right hand, I'd like you to take the right foot and turn the foot onto its side and tack it down, okay? Then you're going to ro keep rotating the shoulders to the left, eyes looking to the left, and with that right elbow, you're pushing up it inside against the knee, the right knee pushing it out, so you're going to feel hopefully a stretch on the inside of your right thigh, groin area. Good. One more exhale. All right. Let's repeat the same thing, but on the left side. So spider lunge left. Back knee stays on the ground. We're going to start by rotating to the left. So releasing that left hand, placing it on the left knee, on top of the left knee, or the thigh, looking to the left. Breathing deep into the belly with each exhale, squeezing your glutes. Allowing that right hip to sink a little bit deeper. All right, on the next exhale, take that left hand, place it on top of the left foot. Turn the left foot to its side, tack it down, and then rotate the belly button to the right. Again, that left elbow is pushing uh, against the, out, the inside of the left knee, the inside of the left knee, so you're going to feel a stretch in the groin. 
as you're looking to the right. Good. One more exhale. And rest. Okay. Let's go to our backs. Let's go to our backs. So feet up in the air for dead bug. Let's bring our feet up, knees at 90 degrees, arms over our chest. Then pressing your low back into the ground, we're going to lower the opposite arm and leg. Doesn't matter which one you start with. Exhale, bring it back up to the top. Pause. Alternate sides. So inhale as you lower it down. I see what you're dealing with over there, Maureen. <laughs> Good. One more on each side, everybody. Good. All right. Let's place the feet on the ground for hip bridges. Should be able to touch the backs of the heels with your fingertips. That's how close your feet should be into the hips. Then slide those hands out to the side. Exhale. Press those heels into the ground. Squeeze the glutes. Good tall chest the belly button. On the inhale, lower the hips and repeat. So with each exhale, squeeze your glutes at the top, coming up onto the tops of the shoulders. With each inhale, lowering the hips. Good. Two more. Excellent. And rest. Let's bring those feet up once again. Arms over the chest. This time we're going to do gate bug, where we lower the opposite arm and leg in the same direction. So that right arm is going to lower down in the same direction as the left leg. Exhale. Come back up to the start. Pause. Alternate sides. So again, the opposite arm is going to lower down in the same direction as the leg. Again, keeping tension in your core, tension in your abs, keeping the ribs tucked in, pressing the low back into the ground. Pelvis stays still, back stays neutral. One more on each side. And we're going to finish up with hip bridges, placing the feet, both feet on the ground. Exhale, squeeze your glutes. Hips and belly button are tall. Inhale, lower the hips and repeat. Good. A few more. Two, one, and rest. Good. All right. Uh, one more thing on the ground. One more thing on the ground. We're going to do 90-90. 90-90. So with your feet in front of you, okay, um, feet are about shoulder width apart. Let's go ahead and lower the knees to the right, okay? You should look at both knees. Both knees should be at 90 degrees, as well as there should be space between your left knee and your right foot, okay? The left knee and the right foot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to keep the feet right where they are. We're going to come back up to the middle with the knees up and hands on the ground, keeping both butt cheeks on the ground. We're just going to swivel both, both knees. Not, we're not going to put the knees on the ground just yet. We're going to keep both hips on the ground, just swiveling. Good. All right, on the next time to the right, let's actually place both legs on the ground. And what we're going to do is I'd like you to look at your right knee. should be at 90 degrees. Left knee is at 90 degrees. And what I'd like you to do is kind of situate yourself so that your hips are kind of square over the right leg. Chest is nice and tall over the right leg. And we're going to hinge forward, and I'd like you to lift up your left leg off the ground. So as you, as you kind of lean forward, you're lifting up that left back leg and then resting it. Whew. Might get a little tightness in the glute med, but that's okay. We're going to repeat that. We'll do about five, okay? And lean forward, lift up that left leg, rear leg, and then rest. Good. One more. And... 
Good. Switch sides. Keep the feet right where they are. Shift the knees over to the left. Again, kind of readjust so that the left knee is at 90, the right knee is at 90. Using your hands, kind of shift, again, adjusting your hips so that you're square over the left side. We're going to lean forward, and we're going to lift up that right leg just an inch or two off the ground, and then, re and then relax. Good. Let's go one more. Wonderful. All right. Good. Let's come up onto our feet now. Let's come up onto our feet. All right. On our feet. Let's march. Cross body marching. Breathing through your nose. Knees crossing the midline, coming up to the belly button, touching the opposite either forearm or wrist. Good. Keeping the same tempo, let's straighten out the legs now for cross-body toy soldiers. So the hands touching the knee or the shin. So you lock out the knee, reaching through the heel, pointing the toes back to your face. One more on each side. Good. Let's cross over now, right over left. We're going to fold forward. And as we fold forward, we're going to touch the floor in three spots. In front of the foot, to the right of the feet, and then to the left of the feet. And then we're going to stand, uncross, into a big X at the top. And then we're going to cross over the other way. Left over right, keeping the back knee straight, folding forward, touching the ground in front, to the right, and to the left. Or, if you're not yet touching the ground, then just kind of touch, touch, touch. All right. Uncross into a big X, and then repeat. Crossing over right over left, folding forward. Folding forward in front, to the right, and to the left. Uncross one more time to a big X. Folding forward after we cross over left over right. Good. And stand. Good morning stretches. Soft knees, hinging at the hips. Our shins are vertical as we hinge forward, staying tall through your chest. Back stays flat. One more. Let's do some lateral lunges, stepping out to the side, bring the feet to the middle, and then step out to the other side. So as we do a lateral lunge, we want to um, bend the knee, as well as hinge forward, opposite leg stays straight. Let's go one more to each side. Great. All right. Back to good morning. Soft knees. few more and rest all right uh, final thing let's do finish up with wrists so let's go five wrist circles going outward five wrist circles going in let's reach out to the side reaching out through the palms pointing the fingertips back to your head open and close the hands Good. Ring out the towel, rotating flat palms in opposite directions. Good. All right. Let's extend the right arm out in front. Fingertips down. Fingertips down. With the other hand, put gentle pressure on the fingers, even the thumb. Then keeping the constant pressure on the fingertips, bend the right elbow to your side, and then straighten out the arm. Let's do that five times. Good. All right. Shake out that hand and let's switch sides. Left arm in front, putting gentle pressure on the fingertips as the fingertips point down. Bend the elbow to your side, straighten out the arm. Good. One more. And rest. 
All right, final thing, final thing. Let's uh, interlace, interlace the fingers, okay? Then kiss the, uh, kiss the forearms together, then rotate one palm in towards you, okay? The wrist that's on the outside, that's gonna slide up as the wrist on the inside slides down, then rotate. And then again, the outside wrist slides up as the inside wrist slides down, and then you're just gonna alternate. Good, and we're gonna uh, uh, switch directions. So now the inside wrist slides up as the outside wrist slides down. Rotate and then repeat. IQ test. <laughs> Not a lack of IQ test. Like, well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just roll your wrist. Just roll your wrist. Nice job, everybody. All right.